good morning everyone the last lecture we were talking about innovation right and uh, we had talked a lot about innovation and uh, we have discussed about uh, design thinking and in design thinking the first thing is to empathize to empathize problem in the society problem in the business problem in a business process problem in a product and what better features can be created and then after empathizing the problem of the empathizing the process the process improvement we can define that the main the second second step is to define it to define it in your own words so that everyone can understand and you can communicate it among your team members among your uh, department and among the consumers and then we can start ideating about ideation right we can ideate about the innovations what incremental innovation we can do right the third step is ideation to ideate about the solution finding for the solution brainstorming for the solution brainstorming for the solution coming up with a solution and then at the fourth stage developing a prototype or product or services and then testing the prototype multiple times and this, this these five steps are in design thinking design thinking is a human centered prototype driven process prototype driven for innovation that can be applied to a product service process and business design right and that we have discussed and innovation is nothing other than at intersection of desirability feasibility and viability desirability is it must be desired in the society in the business as a process right it must be desired if you want to innovate something new uh like you know innovation for the covid vaccine it is desired right and it should be feasible to produce the technically you are uh, the smartphones very small size foldable smartphones are desired but technically it should be feasible and it must be viable any organization manufacturing it or providing it provide in such a way that it is the system, whole system is viable means can sustain for the long time a human centered approach brings together what is desirable from a human perspective desirable from a human perspective it is required in the society need of the society need of the business need of a business process what is technologically feasible and it must be technologically feasible whether it is a process business process or a product or a service what is economically viable and it must be also economically viable that the organization providing that solution can sustain for long time in order to craft an innovative solution right this is at the end innovation is at the intersection of desirability feasibility and viability so for your project you have to think you have to brain strong at first you have to uh, empathize you may have encountered many such situations in the covid era or before that or today right or maybe two years back and you have to define that problem the first job is define that problem problem definition right the second job is to ideate for the solution brainstorming then prototyping and testing is not part of that product the part of not part of that product your project basically uh, here we are we will be working only empathizing defining in ideation means i need your idea i need your idea even problem definition definitions are sufficient may be sufficient for some cases you may have defined a problem well but you may not be able to find out the solution that will be accepted in your project even getting the point 
you have to empathize that is you have to find out some problem maybe in a product maybe in a system maybe in a process right and then defining that and then ideating for solutions brainstorming for solutions that is your project right at least that is your project right and these all must be desirable the problem you are defining must be desirable by human point of view it must be required in the society and you have to check that you have to market research and technical research that feasible it is feasible and such such solutions are feasible in today's world that you have to find out also and and it will be viable for the organ any organization producing that solution providing that solution it may be a product or service or its process right that is basically project of yours you have to think then define then ideate the solution and all this must be desirable feasible and viable right any organization will remain viable a tentative survey you have to make for that and if we are talking about innovations and uh, we all know innovations are of four types right incremental innovations breakthrough innovation game changer and disruptive disruptive innovations right and in x and y axis here we have technology in progress technology progress that is you are innovating something in the technology back the technology technically you had find something new right technology progress in your innovation and how much market impact of that product how much it is impacting the market suppose you invented a new operating system mobile phone presently our mobile phones are operating by ios and android and you invented a new operating system so technology progress will be high of course it is a new system and the second thing is how it is impacting the market so if we will talk about the incremental innovations the incremental we know the small innovation right we have a front camera the camera we are taking selfie high megapixels little bit higher megapixels so it will be a incremental incremental innovations with some technology progress and some market impact both will be reasonably average in incremental innovation that is some product and we have make it better little bit we made the product better little bit and in in terms of technology progress and in terms of market impact it is good it is average this this is first type of incrom incremental innovation and mostly we encounters and everywhere we are in this area only incremental innovations whether we are talking about the smartphones that new model had came the model will be with incremental innovation in every uh, segment maybe with the camera with the maybe storage and with the applications number of right and uh, similarly in if we are talking about the car the cars with the new models companies are launching with the new models and mostly with incremental innovations with new features new features means what incremental innovations right this is incremental innovations the average technology progress and average market impact if there is a breakthrough innovation breakthrough innovation is where technology progress is very high yeah checking technology progress will be very high but market impact will not be will be average market impact will be average right it is impacting the market the product market in a, in, as the incremental innovation average but technology innovations are technology progress is high 
when sony launched its walkman first time right it is known for breakthrough innovation say small walkman you can listen the music with the cassettes at the time using the roll and cassette right so that's what breakthrough the technology progress is very high but market impact is average and if we talk about the game changer <coughs> game changer in such case technology progress is very high and market impact is also very high both are at its peak like the smartphone smartphone is also innovation in a smartphone or game ch- it is game changer because change the game technology is new and market impact is very high the after launching of the smartphones nokia the company was producing highest number of the mobile phones at that time was disappeared from the market getting the point this is game changer high technology progress and high market impact this is in case of game changing innovations and the fourth one is disruptive innovation where the technology progress is average like the incremental innovation but market impact is very high that is we are not inventing any new technology the technology is on an average remains the same but you have planned the business or the system such a way it impacted the market like a game changer example for that is launch of jio jio services before that we are getting 3g data for 249 rupees 1 gb for one month only 1 gb for one month by paying 249 rupees after launch of jio we start getting 2 gb or 1 2 gb for 249 daily basis daily 2 gb it disrupted the market without much changes on the technology this is what we call it disruptive innovation so these are the four types of innovations and your project may fit or any one of this innovation that is you have to find out and you have to ideate your project may be any one of these four areas and mostly it will be here disruptive innovations if you are not changing the technology if you are using the existing technology but uh, market impact may be high then it will it should be here disruptive or incremental innovation you may be thinking about right because for game changer or breakthrough innovation we need technology progress as well right like breakthrough innovations we can have netflix now it may be a game changer in covid because even hindi movies are really they are really they are the premieres and releasing on netflix or on amazon prime later right netflix was the first initially launched in the a different product of its kind <clears throat> now creating a culture of innovation as i said in the last lecture google and apple all these companies have innovative work culture work culture the company culture which supports innovation right and now for the existence of every com- company they need to be innovative they need to be innovative the so rewarding innovation even if it fails it's google's culture they are rewarding innovations right rewarding innovation even if it is fails why google rewards its employees for failing because we know innovation is not an easy task and uh, yes so in your project of first semester ep 
entrepreneurship project or first semester you have to empathize any problem it may be a social problem or a business problem or problem in a business process and then you have to define it define that problem and then ideate for the solution right then you have to brainstorm in your team and try to finding out the solution so that you can develop a prototype and can test it so the three steps you have to take you have to ideate and find out a solution and come up with a project we are going to develop such a such system such as a business maybe any sort of business with this business idea and this idea must be after empathizing a problem defining it and then ideating it brainstorming in your team project team and team members can be 3 to 5 so 3 to 5 team members in your project and send name of the team members and name of your team as soon as possible to me i will share my email id right so this is basically how you have to go you have to start for your project of entrepreneurship project or first semester right thank you thank you very much and if anyone have any problem you can ask me personally on my whatsapp or can call me anytime